amazing DIY experiments with watermelons. Now, I love watermelon, and honestly, these watermelon experiments are actually mind-blowing because I didn't even know you can do half these things. Like, where do you even buy this shaper? But this is how you can make some cool DIY projects at home and make watermelon popsicles. That's right. Get a popsicle stick, freeze that bad boy, and voila. Legit, a watermelon popsicle. Not like some, like, off-brand fake watermelon deliciousness. No. Like, a real watermelon that you just cut open like this, and you can get some really cool different things you can eat at home. Now, this is a little extreme. Cutting a watermelon like this is just a lot of extra work, but for a party, it looks really flippin' cool. You can't tell me it doesn't look cool. And then if you want a slice, you just cut it off and you just eat it. I freaking love watermelon. You can do so much with it. Like, by the way, where do you even, what, what, what even is this? Like a watermelon slicer? Yeah, it's literally a watermelon slicer to make watermelon, ah! watermelon french fries? What? Wait, okay, oh, guys, this is getting a little ridiculous now. Now we're cutting a watermelon into a cube. We're just getting one cube. A drill? Oh, whoa, uh, uh, wait, what? We're just, we're, okay, we're just doing that. We're just, no. Watermelon juice? Did they just make fresh watermelon juice right before our eyes? No way. No way. Okay. Now they're cutting the hole to be a little bit bigger. Got it, got it. They measured it for that cup specifically. Oh my, bro. Guys, that is like legit. Is that gonna work? That's not gonna work. There's no way. It, how does it not leak out? Why are we making a face? <laughs> what is happening right now? We're now cutting a face into the watermelon. How will this make the watermelon taste any different? I don't think it will. I don't even know where you get a knife like this. Is it a bread knife? Oh my God, now we're drawing eyes. Okay, we've really fallen. <laughs> Bro. Okay, it's leaking. It's leaking. But it's probably really good juice. It's like fresh watermelon juice. Oh my God. This guy almost just cut his finger off, bro. Legit almost cut his finger off. This is a, uh, this is like a perfect scooper. This thing legit perfectly scoops stuff like into a circle. It's pretty kiwis. Oh my God. If you've never had kiwi, it's actually really delicious. And look at this. Look how perfect these balls are. Balls of watermelon, balls of apples, balls of, balls of deliciousness. Oh my God. Okay, who has, who has these at home? I don't even, is this a thing? Oh my, what? Now, bro, my mind is blown. Okay, that is, that, uh, uh, um, um, I, I need to start, okay. What? Wait, no, no, no flipping. <laughs> what? Is this real? Are we? What kind of weird watermelon is this? It looks like a rotten, like, pumpkin. Wait, what the? Okay, let me know in the comment section if you've ever seen a watermelon like this. I have, what kind of watermelon? What kind of watermelon magic? What is this? What are they making? Oh, no. Okay, that is cool. And I just realized, like, you can tell these watermelons are all from, like, different countries because no watermelon looks the same, which I think is a little scary. <laughs> That's, listen, I don't want to be that guy, but isn't that a little weird that, like, all these watermelons are, like, different looking? Like, I know fruits in different countries look different. Like, an example, like a pineapple from Hawaii and a pineapple from, like, I don't know, somewhere in the middle of the United States, they taste totally different. Or, like salmon in one part of, of the world and salmon in another part of the world taste different but when they look different i think that's a little weird don't you think but what, why do they look different okay maybe okay maybe i'm just weird but now we're making watermelon what is frozen pops frozen okay that you see what does this watermelon look like it looks like a pumpkin it looks like a sweet sweet little pumpkin but with red inside. Oh man, I'm so confused on what's happening with these watermelons now. I have so many questions and so little answers, but that's where you guys are gonna come in and help me. With the nice little heart on the watermelon, we are cutting this bad boy open. Why we shaped it into a heart? I have no idea, but it's about to get real dicey. 
So we are cutting out the heart. Got it. We're cutting the watermelon's heart open. <laughs> Not the watermelon heart. Okay. Well, what's inside? Watermelon juices. We got the watermelon organs. We got the watermelon. Oh, bro. For Valentine's Day or like an anniversary? That's super cute. I'm not going to lie. You could like hook it up for your boyfriend or girlfriend. Some nice watermelon. What is that? Why does this watermelon look like this? Look at this. That Okay, this has to be like genetically modified. And how big was that spoon? What the? Okay, now they're making mang... Mang... Was that... Is that strawberry? Did it say strawberry? It looked like it said mango, but maybe it was a different language I didn't see. But maybe it was watermelon jello. Now we're adding hot water and cold water, and now we're mixing. I think they were making jello, and then we're putting the jello stuff inside of the bottom of the watermelon. We're making a fake watermelon. We're making a jello watermelon. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that's that's actually pretty freaking cool. Holy. Okay. All right. I like this. Bro, that is that is so freaking cool. I'm gonna draw lines. Okay, why are we drawing lines here? There's something big going on here. Something big planned. We're cutting it. Yep, got it. Cutting it there. Cutting it square. Cutting it all over. We're gonna cut sl slits? Slices? What? Why are we? What the? <laughs> Acupuncture for watermelons. <laughs> why are we? Okay, we're cutting it in, ha in like slices now. Oh. Don't tell me you're going to freeze these. Okay, good. Holy. Like, who has this much freezer space? And what kind of knife is this? What the heck? Okay, this is... Now, this guy probably makes these watermelon inventions pretty often. That is a weird knife. That is like... Okay, and that is a weird looking watermelon. Like, you see how I, I told you guys? Watermelons from different parts of the world look different. This watermelon does not look like the last watermelon. Like, an example, these have seeds. The other ones didn't. You can get seedless watermelons. That has to be a genetic mutation. You can't just get like some with seeds and some without seeds. That's freaking weird. How are they doing this? I need the, I need these answers answered. Wait, I need these questions answered. Now they're making popsicles, but that would be freaking gross. Who the heck wants to have popsicles with seeds in them? That just sounds miserable. And look, look at these seeds. You see, these seeds look different. They're white seeds. The other ones are black seeds. Oh my God, I am learning. Listen, you guys strapped in for an education course in watermelon. Well, we're learning about watermelons. As we go out through this, through this reaction, we're learning. But we're not really learning anything. We're more like asking questions that we don't have the answers to. And that's for the, that's not, that's not for watermelons. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. That, 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 that is, that is not, no, what, what? Oh my God, we are, we're legit. Okay, well, apparently it is for watermelons. We now have a, okay. Oh my God. This is what, this is how far we've come. This is what has happened. That looks so weird. Not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, what? What? Why? Why would you even, why was it? Why? Why did we just add Coca-Cola? What the? Oh man. I am not a fan of this idea at all. What just happened? It was so healthy. And then it went to so not healthy in the matter of two seconds. And now we're carving this bad boy. We're carving it into a very weird, who does this? Why would you ever, who, how do you even have time to carve? I don't even have time to do like, like watch Netflix shows. This person's out here full fledged carving watermelons. Like it's their job to just cut watermelons into little pieces. And oh my God, this must be some bomb party. You better, whoever's going to this party better really appreciate all the effort you just made to make like 15 little sticks of watermelons <laughs> because that looks delicious you can just buy it at the store already done it would be it would save you so much time it would save you okay you know what you live your best life i would just buy it at the store nutella yes ah! oh i freaking love donuts what is that look at it wait how did it no that's confusing Look at that. Oh yeah. Nothing like it. Lighter than Krispy Kreme. What? They got fruity pebbles. What? What is this? Aloe vera. Dude, this is how they make aloe for the cut. Oh God. Okay, that looks gross. That actually looks gross, but it's pretty cool how they just make that. Oh, what is this? It's bubble gum. 
Oh, no. Oh, gross. Why are they melting bubblegum? No, this is a hazard. Do not drink this. Are they using a toothbrush? What is this? They're going to strain it. Oh, God. It gets all the... Oh, God. What are they doing with that? That's like blue dye. Do not drink this. What are they doing? Is that milk? They're adding milk to this. Now they're whipping it. They're making ice cream. Bubblegum ice cream. No way. Wait, more bubble... Wait, you don't add bubble gums to bubble gum ice cream. They are adding bubble gums to bubble gum ice cream. Costco pizza. Okay. How does Costco make their pizza? Take notes. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my God. It's like a record player for pizza. <laughs> okay, that is that is talent. That I need that. Imagine if you had that in your house. I feel like if you were rich enough, you could have your own pizza little like uh, stand where you could just throw all the pizza together and always have pizza whenever you want it. Look at this guy. Daryl works at Costco and he loves his job. He's spreading out that cheese. Really enjoying himself. Gonna throw some pepper. Dang! Oh no, that was a healthy amount of pepperoni. He could have put way more, but now it's it's like a fistful of pepperoni. Bro, does Costco really put that much pepperoni on the pepperoni pizza? Grace, Avatar. Wait, this is how they made the movie? Fast. Motor controls looking good. What? He actually ate a mango. <laughs> How orange juice is made? What is this? Are these oranges? No, nah, these aren't oranges. These are green. Why are these green? These are limes or lemons or something. But these are oranges. I think. I'm from Florida. I should know if these are oranges. But they're yellow, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> I don't know if these are... Are these orange? Are these lemons? These are huge. They've got to be oranges, right, guys? Just the wrong color or something? I have no idea what these things are. They're getting crushed. They have to, it has to be orange juice. But they don't even look like they're they, it is orange juice! Yo, that does They weren't even orange. Let's get Florida orange juice! Something's wrong here. What are we making now? Cone. What waffle cones? Waffle cones! You see, I know my freaking stuff. I know my freaking stuff, dude. Oh yes. Dragon fruit and mango. What the What kind of mango? That was like five pieces of mango. And I've never seen dragon fruit ice cream. Are they about to make those ice cream rolls? I think they are, dude. I've seen these used to be really popular back in the day. They make these rolls. Are they about to do that or no? I can't tell. Bro, look at that. Look at the consistency right now. They are making the rolls. Look at this. Look at this. This is cool. They scrape it into these little rolls that you can then eat. But it's really weird because once they melt, they just melt into, into nothingness. Look at this. Look at that. That is so nice. I would eat this. I've never even had dragon fruit and I would have this. I have no idea what dragon fruit tastes like. Somebody let me know. What does dragon fruit taste like? Oh, mango on top. Ooh. With strawberries. Ooh. Emergency manufacturing session here in the factory. Emergency We're manufacturing. Emergency manufacturing. On Amazon, what have the stock for everything bagel seasoning. Everything bagel seasoning. That, what? It's that competitive for everything bagel? What the heck is going on here? Oh my God, look at all these eggs. There's not a single eggshell in there. What are they making? What the? What the heck is this? Yo, it's sponge cake. Or castellas, I think. Bro. Wah. What the? This is how they make baby dolls? Oh, heck no. Oh my God. Yo, that is terrifying. This is like Toy Story gone wrong. Specialized sewing machine operated by hand. Oh, heck no. Sew so the nylon into the PVC. Oh my. Next time you see a baby doll, remember this video. You've now been cursed. You've been traumatized by this. Look at this. Look at this. They're adding all the hair. Oh, no. Oh my God. That is brutal. What is that? I don't know what that, that brown stuff does not look very good. Let me tell you. What is that? Soda? Sometimes? Okay. We're making some kind of cake. I don't know. What, is that cream cheese? That might be cream cheese. I have no idea what that is. Oh, we're adding the eggs. This might be like a cheesecake or something. I don't know what that brown stuff is, but that looks gross. 
We're adding some kind of more. What? I think it is cheesecake. Guys, am I a genius or am I a freaking genius? Yo! I don't know if these are cheesecakes now. What? What the heck is this? Oh, now I'm lost. Is this white chocolate? Oh, I don't know what this is now. I think that was white chocolate. It had to have been. For a second, I thought it was like pasta. But I think it's white chocolate and orange mandarin sauce or something. What the heck is that? Yo, what? That's why it had the holes in the bottom. It looks like straight up Tom and Jerry's cheese. What? I, I, dude, now I am so confused on what, is it just cheese? Or is it a cheesecake? What the heck is this? This better not be chicken nuggets. This better not be chicken nuggets. I've seen what chicken nuggets look like. What? <laughs> They're Crocs. We're making Crocs, guys. I can confirm these are not chicken nuggets. What is this guy making? Sugar cane? I'm not sure what he's doing right now. He's just slicing this all up. He's laying it out, air dry, okay. What the heck is he doing here? He just air dried it and then soaked it. What the heck is the point of that? We're cooking plants? Don't tell me he's about to eat this. What is this? Now he's scraping it. Now he's hammering it. Oh God, this is a lot of work for whatever this is. We're going, we're doing the extra, extra. What? Now he's chopping it up like steak. Oh my God, I, I'm so lost. I have no idea what we're doing here. We need silk trees cooking it for one hour. We're cooking the silkworm cocoons to make what? Oh, gross. What is this? We're not going to eat this. There's no way we eat this. Oh God, look at the silk. What? That looks disgusting. I'm so invested. I have no idea what we're making here. Oh my God. Guys, I figured out what they're making. This is paper. You don't eat paper. And for all of you guys that waste paper, you're a waster. Look at the hard work they gotta go through to make paper. That's freaking ridiculous, by the way. Okay, I did not expect it to start off like this. So it looks like it makes a giant sheet of crayons first. And then as you can see, all those little holes are where the crayons are at. So it fills up those little holes. And once those holes are filled, they have to scrape all the extra crayons out. So all that extra gets removed and then we have a nice layer of all the holes being filled. And those holes pump out these bad boys. And that's yellow orange. Okay, that is very... Holy, look at all those crayons! What? This is how dinosaurs are made. But not like real life dinosaurs, like animatronics, right? They're literally sculpted into these machines. And as you can see, that looks really insane. It takes hours upon hours upon a lot of robotics oh my look at that eyeball bro that eyeball looks so legit oh no that's creepy i think they got this in the theme park for like jurassic world or something that is probably for movies it's gotta be but what about balloons oh wait those are not balloons wait those are balloons what that looks so weird i did not expect balloons to look like light bulbs they're just on this conveyor belt and they look so weird and we've got all the colors we've got blue balloons they start off as gray though. That is a very nice, that's my favorite color. Wow! So after they're dipped, they're brought through this machine that apparently buffs the balloons. I don't get what that even means, but yeah, as you can see, they pretty much polish out the imperfect balloons and they just all go through this like really weird process that if any balloons don't go through, you can see those are the ones that didn't get colored or failed to pass the test. Heart-shaped balloons. Now, I don't know what this tests. I think it tests the like, elastic of the balloon to make sure it can survive being like pumped up. And that's a giant freaking heart balloon. That is a weird job, but it pays the bills. This is how jeans are made. Now, these are specifically distressed jeans. So jeans that like, you know, have like cool carvings on them or like other features. This laser literally just prints out jeans. I had no idea that jeans are made this way. I thought they were just like cut fabric, like someone makes them themselves. But no, literally a robot does all the work. And it looks so freaking cool. That is great. Holy, what is cutting it? Oh my God, that is, that's how hot the laser is. Oh, that is crazy. So then that's only one side. Then this guy has to go and then make the jeans together. That is a lot of work. These must be very expensive jeans, I, I would hope, right? Yeah, he, he literally sells jeans. And then he tries them on? 
Oh, that is cool. He doesn't make sure he's, he's quality controlling all his jeans. But now we've got how M&Ms are made. Now, I am a big fan of M&Ms. M&Ms are delicious. Now, I've got a spoiler alert. All M&Ms taste the same no matter the color, okay? Oh. Now, the best thing about M&Ms is that they're delicious chocolatey goodness. But they're made in a very specific way that I had no idea looked this intense. This is how all the M&Ms in the world are made. They're all put into this machine and then perfectly calculated certain amounts to go in the bags. And every single color is accounted for. Have you ever wondered how light bulbs are made? Think about it. There's these little bulbs of light that give you the ability to see things at night. That is pretty freaking crazy sounding. But these little bulbs give you the ability to see things when it is dark. But how are they made? This is how they're made. They're individually placed into different... What? These little glass cylinders are blow-torched and closed and extended. Wait, what? They cut the bottom of the light bulb off. Okay, that's actually... Uh, that is so awesome. And then they're... Yeah, the little metal part goes on. And then someone inspects every single light bulb to ensure that they work. Wow, that's a weird job. This is how ramen noodles are made. Ramen noodles are typically pretty cheap, all right? So I'm not gonna be surprised if the ramen noodles system looks pretty gross because to make ramen noodles, it's very simple. And look at that. Wow, they literally just, they cook them then ship them out on this little, oh, that looks cool. Oh my, yo, that is so cool. Hot dogs, oh, oh God. I don't think I ever wanna have hot dogs again. Oh my God, this looks gross. This is how hot dogs are made. Oh, God. Oh, my. Ah! What else? Oh. oh, my. No, 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 no. I just had a hot dog two days ago. Oh, they look so good when they're done, though. Wow, that looks really tasty, actually. These are how chess sets are made and why champion chess sets are so expensive. I didn't even know there's a difference between regular chess sets and championship chess sets. But these are all made by hand. These are professional chess piece crafters look at this they're just blowing through all the wood they've got to do what they've got to do these are forks those don't look like forks wait a minute how is that a fork this is how forks are made though they're literally used with just oh my god wait a minute this is a fork look at this oh wait, whoa, whoa. he's gonna be careful not to get his hand stuck in there bro i feel like there's a way better way to do this I mean, this seems very old school. Like they've got to use their hand. They can't use like all machinery. I cannot believe this. Look at that. It just, those are some funky looking forks. Wait a second. Those are some really weird looking forks. I gotta be honest. These gotta be cheap forks. They look so clunky. Oh, what? Wait a minute. I think I have these forks. Oh my God. No, I don't think there's no way. They look so cheap. How donuts are made. Okay, now we're speaking my language. This is money, baby. Wait, what? I've never seen don't... I, listen, I've been to the Krispy Kreme by my house. I don't see them being made like this. This is fancy. Oh, snap! Bro, those look so big. Those are some big freaking donuts. They've even got M&Ms. What are the M&Ms for? Oh, no. They're making M&M donuts. Oh, my God. If you weren't hungry, you now are chocolate chips. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I'm hungry now. How bubble gum is made. Okay, now we're speaking some languages. Oh god. I don't think I'm ever gonna have bubble gum ever again. What? Oh god! Oh gee! Oh god! What the heck is that? Oh no. That looks crazy. I don't know if this makes me want bubble gum, to be honest. That looks scary. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, it's legit bubble gum. Legitimately the bubble gum we've all come to love. How chocolate sculptures are made. Chocolate sculptures. I've never in my life have ever had a chocolate sculpture made. But I think if there was a chocolate sculpture made, it would be... What the heck is... This? Guys, what is this? Oh, it's a dinosaur. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Okay. I didn't know what that was there for a second. It's a snake. No, it's a cow. No, I don't know what that is. What the heck is this? A dragon? It's a dragon. That started off looking like something that was not a dragon. I'll tell you that. Whoa, wow. They... Holy moly. They did a really good job with this. Oh my God, that is so impre- Oh my God, look at the eyeballs. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Oh my freaking God, they even have teeth. How it's made ice cream popsicles. Okay, these are ice cream popsicles. That was very fast. Laser beam engraved metal. Oh, that is dope. Look at that. It doesn't hurt your hand. It only, wow. It doesn't hurt your hand. It only hurts the metal. That is weird. 
Why does that happen? Air Jordans. Okay, now we're in business. Look at this. These are $120 shoes. Oh, what the? Why are they made so aggressively? These are not real Air Jordans, are they? They are. What the heck? Look at this. We pay $120 for that. How pumpkin glass is made. Pumpkin glass. Pumpkin glass. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. This is how tires are made. Okay. How are tires made? Let's see. I've got tires on my car. I don't see the tire part, though. All I see is, like, lines being made. Why are we drawing lines? There's a lot of... Wait a minute. Look at that. It slices it. And then what? And then it brings it into different parts? We've got different parts of the tire now? What? Oh, the lines are for your treading. Oh, wow. That's fancy. Oh, what? A nice... What is this? A ball? Yep. That's gone. It's got like slime. No! Thomas the tank engine! My man! Hold it down, bro! Oh, oh. His face just fell off. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. What is this? Like a clam with or bees in it. Oh. It's Halloween season! So this is perfect. We're crushing a pumpkin. That that is sad. Oh! That was gross. That was a lot. Sponges. They, nothing even happened to sponges. Slime. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay. That's a lot of slime, dudes. That's that's a lot. What is this? Like jello? Why did the jello do that? Ooh, toothpaste. Oh, this would be crazy. Oh, that looks like guava juice. Crayons. Oh, heck yes. It's just wax. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. A candle. <gasps> Wait, this one has holes in the top. No way. Is it? Yes. I love these. What are these? Like rubber little, little, little plastic beads. That did nothing. That did nothing to the beads. <gasps> a candle. Oh my. It, dudes, didn't even survive a second. That, okay, it was gone. I'm pretty sure this is food. They just crushed cakes, little cakes. Little balls, all right. They didn't survive. Oh wow, they they like exploded. What the? Is this like a a beet, a radish? What is this? That, yep. There it goes. Delicious. More candles, baby candles, coconuts. Oh, look at the coconut juice flowing out, dudes. Oh, this is gonna be crazy with all the pressure down there, and it has holes and. Oh God, that was gross. That was gross. Not the elephant, bro. Not the elephant. Oh, that's so cool. What is this? Like a little... Oh. 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 It sort of survived a little bit. Well, more than this dragon will. This dragon's about to get destroyed, by the way. Absolutely destroyed. Just Legos. Is it like regular Legos? Or is this like... Wait a second. No way, it's in a cup. Holy! What? 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 Okay, that's insane. We're crushing a clock. Time's up for you, clock. It's crushing time. And just like that, it's gone. A sweet potato? I love potatoes. Corn! Okay, this is gonna be epic. I can already imagine. It's gonna go everywhere. Oh, yeah. I love corn, too. Corn and sweet potatoes. Those are some solid food choices. But this stuff, like a bar of soap, that's just weird. Oh my gosh, Play-Doh with the presser with the holes. There's about to be some extreme silly. What the? Why is it exploding? Furby. Okay, Furby did nothing wrong. Furby, 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 Furby. Oh, oh God. Oh God. A night tennis ball. Well. That didn't really last that long. Broccoli? Who's just like today? We're pressing broccoli. That was a good idea. Oh, broccoli juice. Oh, gosh. No way. Look at this. I used to love this stuff as a kid. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so cool. It just came out the sides. Oh, baby. Is this bars of soap is going to come from the top? Oh, that's epic. Oh, that's beautiful. A rubber band ball that stood no chance <laughs> and we went slow with it too oh no 
A little ball? Crush. It didn't pop. What? How? How did it survive? <gasps> yes! Is it gonna come out the sides? No, I think the whole thing's gonna get crushed. That's not real metal. Oh, oh god. Oh, it's... Okay, well... Oh! A little Play-Doh, like, pig. Why does Play-Doh explode like that in deck of cards? Holy! Why did the deck of cards explode? Is that wet toilet paper? Oh! What the? Why? CDs. Okay. Oh, this looks like a disaster. Okay. I hope they were behind some protective glass. Huge Orbeez and a presser. Oh, no. It's going to go through the holes. Oh! That is epic. That is crazy. A piggy bank? Come on. Oh, it's got money. Okay. Now, this is one way to get your money out of the piggy bank. I approve. A squishy ball? Will it survive? Nope. <laughs> We're back at it again with the wax candles. Oh, yes. Oh! <gasps> Dudes! That is so cool! Another candle. Dudes, at the end, I hope we crush something epic. I hear that there's something pretty cool gonna happen in a little bit, so I'm excited. <gasps> yes! Okay, okay. This should be epic. Come on. Oh, that is cool. Why are we crushing a lime? What the lime? Oh, anybody need some lime juice? That's a lot. Oh, a little truck. Oh, good thing those tankers were empty. <gasps> carrots. No, not Garrett. That's me. Those are carrots. And oh, God. Oh, God. That looked gross. Lettuce. Why are we crushing lettuce? This poor lettuce didn't do anything. The lettuce deserved better. <laughs> oh, big rubber balls. All right. This should... Oh, it's, it's slowing down the crusher. Oh! Oh, God! It's a disaster! Holy, how many bars of soap is that? Oh, that's going to be so cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, yes, crayons. Okay, crayons should do the same thing as the soap. They're pretty much wax. Oh, that's epic. That is epic. Oh, that's so cool. A penguin. A baby penguin. Oh, his eyeball. Oh, yes. More candles. I love this part. This is so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good, man. What the heck is that thing? A pink version of Ditto. Oh, oh, what is the? It, is this copper? It's actually crushing it, bro. What even is this? That's insane. It like it's a creeper. Oh, is it gonna explode like the other ones? Nope. Oh, it did. What's inside of those? Another Pepsi Max. Maximum taste, no sugar. Oh, it's yo, it's surviving. Oh, yo, it's it actually it stopped the crusher. The Pepsi Max is so strong. Okay, I'm confused. Is this just toilet paper? Oh, paper towel that's wet. Oh, oh, why, why, just why? Oh, the beads from earlier. You do the same. Oh. What? That's so cool. Holy. Oh, they actually made this. Look at this thing. Oh, it's a goner. This thing's not surviving. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. You've been crushed. Oh, Halloween's coming. And this is a perfect thing to crush. A little Halloween Play-Doh. Goodbye. Oh, it squirted juices. This is a pebble that has two fossils as eyeballs. And if you look closely, it sort of looks like an alien. And I don't know if you guys have heard, but aliens sort of do exist. The government confirmed it. This looks absolutely terrifying. The inside of someone's fridge that looks normal until you see the bottom drawer that looks like the peppers are screaming for help. Yep, I don't know about this one, guys. It's pretty creepy. This is a simple tree in a forest, but if you look closely, it sort of looks like a dragon. Could this be called the dragon tree? I think so. It sort of looks like Charizard. I'm just saying, if you look at Charizard and you look at this tree, they sort of look alike. Pretty cool. 
This guy accidentally pulled off the door handle of his door and best believe that the door handle looked just as shocked as he probably was when he ripped it off, which is pretty cool. If someone handed you this leaf and said, I drew this painting, you would believe it. But crazy enough, this is actually just pigeon poop on a leaf that looks like a pigeon. So in theory, the pigeon painted a portrait of himself on this leaf. That's pretty dope. Looking at this chair, I feel like a lot of us in 2020 and 2021 can relate to how this chair feels. He just looks all types of sad and defeated that he's been thrown to the curb. Yep, we've all been there, my friend. You'll get through it and be a better person or chair, I guess. This is a grasshopper, but if you look at the belly of this grasshopper, it sort of looks like there's a lion wearing sunglasses on the belly. Yeah, do you guys see it? It actually looks like a thing. Pretty cool. At first glance, this looks like a cute dog, but in reality, it's actually just rust. But it does look like a cute dog. I'm just saying, like, if I first saw this, I was like, wow, what a cute dog. Turns out it's not a dog. It's it's just rust. Yep, rust. The snow on top of this mountain looks like a lizard, and it's a little creepy because from a distance, it looks like a giant lizard. Behold, the great white lizard. Pretty cool. When I look at this tree, I see Sid from Ice Age. Do you guys see it too, by chance? It's just a regular tree. It's a plank of wood, but yeah, it, it looks like Sid from Ice Age. It like legit, like look side by side. That looks like Sid. Tell me, this, I'm telling you, I'm an expert. This is just an overflowing cupcake that was overcooked, but somehow this overcooked cupcake turned into an elephant and I'm all for it. Somebody messed up, but dang, that's pretty cool. Non-believers will say that this is not a dragon's head, but clearly, guys, I'm looking at a dragon's head. This is not a piece of driftwood. This is legit looking like a dragon's head, which is weird that a lot of times wood and tree turned itself into dragons. Pretty cool. These are the most terrifying light switches I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know who designed these things or why they even did this, but these things look absolutely terrified. They just don't even know how to handle Like They're like... They're really scared. This is a potato that's gotten a little bit ashy. And for some reason, this potato looks like he's just completely over his life. He just wants to be chopped up and eaten already because he looks like he's aged far beyond his normal age. This boiled egg exploded while cooking and it looks like a snail. And honestly, I'm all for it. I like boiled eggs. They're, they're not too bad. Okay, back to the dragon thing. This one doesn't really look a dragon, more so like an owl or some kind of hawk. But you cannot tell me that this does not look like it's about to eat the moon, which is pretty flipping cool because if it was pitch black and dark out and all you saw was this, it'd be pretty scary. Just saying. Somebody opened their orange and found in the inside a goddess. That's right. It's Kiss, the sun goddess. That's what it sort of looks like. But of course, at the end of the day, it's just an orange, okay? I'm sure someone sold this on eBay for thousands of dollars, though. Let's be real. This projector holder looks like it's doing a lot more than projector holding. I don't know why, but it has a giant smile and it looks like the happiest thing on earth. It's just like, I love life. So a snowstorm recently hit this neighborhood. And as you guys can see, well, this person's car looks really happy about the snowstorm. I'm not sure why this even happened, but this is possibly the happiest car I've ever seen. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, then you will know that this cone looks like the sorting hat. Like, almost identical. Imagine, you're a hazard, Harry. You're a hazard. Yep, that's exactly what this cone's saying. Somebody made themselves a nice cup of tea, and somehow this cup of tea ended up forming bubbles of a cat. Yep, that's a little cat. And it's actually hilarious. I love it. At first, you see these kids, and they look terrified, like they're running away from a T-Rex. And if you look closer at the picture, boom, it's a freaking T-Rex-shaped cactus. That's right. These kids are running away from a cactus, not a T-Rex. This is actually a thing. I'm not sure if this is creepy or cool, but this shadow looks exactly like a man's head. Like it looks like a huge head just on the mountain, watching over the snow. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I wasn't sure what to call this picture, but I think we can consider it pole dancing. That's right, dudes. This is what pole dancing is all about, all right? These two poles were madly in love and they were just dancing in the middle of the day. Ah, a true love story. I hope we all find love like this. This is a random stick that someone found and crazy enough, this stick sort of looks like a dog. It's like a dog stick, which is like pretty cool because you can make a nice walking stick out of this dog stick. 
These pictures really look like something else. When you look at a dog and the chest of the dog, the white part looks like a cat that's about to sneeze. Do you see it? It's pretty freaking weird. It's a cute dog, though. Gotta admit, it's a cute cat and dog, I guess. Oh, in the background, they have bunnies. Tomorrow, we're actually making a bunny video. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, this poor lady's just on the bus and someone took a picture of her knees. But you gotta admit, her knees sort of look like babies. On the left, we have Brittany. On the right, we have Nemo. The cutest twins of them all. Yep, that's crazy. <laughs> This is an orchid flower that somehow looks like a hawk or an eagle. And honestly, it looks pretty awesome. Somewhat looks like a phoenix rising from the ashes, but instead of ashes, it's just orchids. Pretty cool. At first, you see this sink and you're like, oh, it's just a regular sink. But then you realize this is a sink with a runny nose. This isn't a sink. It's just a guy with a runny nose, which looks pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is an alien pickle. Yep. You ever seen the movie Alien? Alien versus Predator. You know, the alien that guy yeah that's what this looks like and this pickle probably sold for a lot of money too because stuff like this always sells for a lot of money i would be absolutely terrified if i opened a can and looked inside and i saw that whatever that is it looks like there's a lizard in there specifically a baby crocodile or something i wouldn't want i don't know it's just the bubbles but it looks like an animal's in there i'm just saying hmm this is a pure bread type of bread you see what i did there this is a dog in bread form. I'm just saying it's a little strange that they delivered this guy a piece of bread that just looks like a dog. I'm not even sure how this happened, but it did. Somehow, some way. This is a picture of a bus, and this is a protest. Now, you're probably wondering yourself, uh, Garrett, how is this a protest? Well, the drivers of this bus company were protesting. So what did they do? They stayed on their job, did their route, picked up customers on their route, but didn't accept any fares on the company's dime using their gas and putting miles on the bus. That is sticking it to the man, which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. This is a can in Japan, but this can is specific because it has braille on the top. And braille is what people use that cannot see because they touch it and then they can figure out what the type of drink they are drinking is. So this specific drink is some kind of beverage and the beverage has its name in braille on the top to help those that are blind, which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. In most bathrooms, public bathrooms especially, there are baby seats. That's right. There are baby holsters where you can put your baby on the holster if you need to use the bathroom. Now you're probably wondering yourself, Garrett, that's gross. Most bathrooms are disgusting, but Japan's a little bit different, and here's why. Growing up in Japan, most schools do not have custodians. You're probably wondering, well, Garrett, how do schools stay clean? Well, kids actually clean the school as a show of gratitude for being able to get an education. If you've ever visited Japan, people are extremely clean. Like, they really go out of their way to clean their neighborhood and make sure that their surroundings are kept tidy. It's actually a really beautiful thing. Speaking of beautiful, here is what they do for manhole covers and sewer tops in Japan. They paint them and colorful them pretty colors. Most of them have designs or are painted on by locals. And as you can see, they look really freaking nice. If you've ever stayed at a hospital, most American hospital food looks like this, and it looks really gross. And they give you very little food. But in Japan, it's actually way nicer. This is food in a hospital. You're probably wondering yourself, Garrett, how was this food from a hospital? Listen, I don't even know. This looks like a five course meal that a professional chef made. Because let me tell you, this looks absolutely delicious. And these are three different meals that they were given on three different days. That's crazy. People in Japan are extremely nice. Somebody accidentally knocked over someone's bike and broke their ringer. And in doing so, they wrote them a note and left them a thousand yen, which is a Japanese currency. But a thousand yen is roughly about $10 ish. So they broke the bell of their bike and they gave them $10 for it, which is pretty cool. This may look weird at first glance, but this is actually a drainage channel in Japan that koi fish live in. Yeah. Not like your typical sewers, but this is literally just a sewer drain that fish live in. And it's perfectly okay because the water's so clean in this system that they can swim in it. Think about that. That's crazy. All around Japan, you'll find toilets with buttons like these. And if you have no idea what they are, they're actually pretty insane. They play music. They clean your butt. They even have electric seats to warm your butt cheeks. 
It's actually incredibly nice and very sanitary. It's insane. It's like revolutionary. America's really behind. You have no idea. One smart invention that they really went ahead and capitalized in Japan are umbrellas. Everyone carries umbrellas with them in Japan. I don't even own a, an umbrella in America and my girlfriend hates me for it because anytime it rains, we can never go outside because I don't have an umbrella. But over there, they have umbrella lockers where you can go ahead and stash your umbrella and lock it so you can come get it whenever you need it for when you leave the building, which is pretty cool. As you can see from this picture, it may be a little confusing, but you're looking at the advertisement and you're looking at what's in this person's hand. You think to yourself, wait a second, expectations really met reality? And that's exactly what you can expect to find in Japan. For whatever reason, they just get it right over there. Whenever they advertise something that it's this good or it looks this great, it normally looks, tastes, and feels that great. Where in America, they can have the nicest looking item and then you get it and it's like, well, this looks nothing like the advertisement. What, what's going on here? But in Japan, expectations actually meet with reality and it's pretty awesome. At the Narita International Airport, which is Tokyo's main airport, they give you free origami instead of candy, which is pretty cute. You can actually just go and pick one up. It's totally free, and I believe it's at the passport section when you go speak for, to an attendant for help. I've actually seen this before, and I've taken one of these origami things, so it's pretty cool that they even have this in this little reaction hack thing I can even re react to, because I like this video a lot. I, I love Japan. They even have public areas that you walk around in malls that allow you to clean your phone. Yeah, welcome to Japan and you can clean your smartphone screen with a dispenser. Just, I mean, when was the last time you cleaned your screen of your phone? Think about it. Not only are Japanese people extremely clean, they're also extremely polite. Every time a Japanese aircraft leaves the airport, the ground crew always bows and waves goodbye to every single plane that they help leave which is pretty crazy if you think about it because there's a lot of planes that leave airports pretty regularly. Not only that, but the animals in Japan are also really polite. This is a specific park in Japan that's called Nara Park. Nara Park is literally a park filled with freaking deer. Why? I have no idea, but you can feed them. There's people there that work with a park and they give you food that is for the deer, specific food for deer. And even the deer there are extremely polite and will bow to you when you feed them. Some of them are a little aggressive though, because well, they are technically wild deer. So just be careful if you ever go. This gift is a perfect example of what is taught in Japan. Early on, as soon as kindergarten, kids are taught to line up as it teaches self-discipline, cooperation, and respect. These lines are for buses, trains, restaurants, or shops. And honestly, a lot of times you can wait for hours in lines in Japan just so that everyone gets a fair chance to go at a like a time that they got there at. So there's no one skipping, no entitlement. Everyone is one, which is crazy. This is a parking lot in Japan. And if you look closely, almost everyone parks backwards. They reverse park into their spots, which is pretty like, I. you know what? It's super neat. It's so nice. I, 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 I don't know. This train company would never have to do this in America. This train company had to officially apologize to its customers for departing 20 seconds early on a departure time. Think about that. They left 20 seconds early and they were forced to do an apology or felt the need to because people were upset that they left early by 20 seconds. Most of the times you can't even get a train to arrive on time in America. So a train arriving always on time and or leaving early on accident, then apologizing is unheard of in America. Speaking of apologies, this hotel had to issue an apology for a one minute internet shortage. Literally one minute internet stop issue. They had to issue an apology at 4 a.m. That is literally a thing. I, I cannot believe this. That is great. We, we need to stay there. There's even buttons in taxis like this one that enable turtle speed. You're probably wondering, Garrett, what is turtle speed? It makes a taxi driver drive slower if you think they're driving too fast, which I've never even heard of in America. Like that would not be a thing at all. Neither would this. This is a stand that tourists can use in order to go ahead and take perfect selfies on tourist spots and locations. It holds your iPhone for you. Pretty cool. So of course, let me know in the comment section, do you want to travel to Japan? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. Click here or here to go watch the next video. Bye dudes.